What's up guys, Nick here, welcome back to an episode of Metroid Fusion. In the last episode, we started the game, we got the Morph Ball, we got missiles, and uh, yeah, we're in Sector 1 now. Um, got a recharge station, but that doesn't really matter too much. But uh, yeah, fought the first boss, beat him. Uh, which we got our morph ball from, and then we got uh, the missiles from uh, Data Room, I think. So probably gonna see the same concepts over and over again: getting stuff from the Data Room and then getting stuff from the boss. So yeah, but right now we have to. Uh, Kind of clear the air, I guess. And, uh. Yeah, we gotta take out five of these air conditioning units. We take. We took out one, so. Four remain. Those guys do way too much damage, honestly. But, the good thing is, we get it all back with that energy tank. Yeah. If you guys didn't see, uh... My top 10 Metroid items, which I think I did... A long time ago. Number 1, I think, was energy tank, or... I think it was number 2. It's not only does it give you 99 more energy... It also restores your health fully, which is very useful. So, yeah. There we go. So, three more to go. I remember having trouble with this as a kid, and I don't know why. I guess I never, like, found all of them. I think there will be like one unit that I usually just like forget about. I thought I think also the reason was because of these guys. Those guys do a lot of damage. Um, they like charge at you. Um, I think the other reason was that I always would die. I think I don't really remember. But all I, all I remember was that I just had trouble in this. And I don't really remember why. And there's a save room right here, so you would think that... I would be skillful enough to actually, like... Get through and stuff. Let's see if I'm skillful enough to do this. I am. Wow. That's when you know you're good at the game. <laughs> you know, all the little secret techniques. Because doing the wall jumps actually pretty difficult to do. Took me a while to kind of get used to. I'm not mastered with it yet, I'd say. But definitely uh, gotten used to it a good thing. I forgot how fun this game is, honestly. Just exploring the whole research area. It's honestly just a lot of fun. I'm just gonna ignore these guys because they just respawn, so why bother? They're, they're really the only point of fighting things is just to uh, uh, get health or get missiles, but since we have both of those, it doesn't really matter. I got some more missiles right there, so that's good. You would think with all lava you wouldn't be able to access that area. You would need like the various suit, but I think the thing is is there isn't actually a various suit in this game. Um mainly because of the fact that we have a fusion suit instead. And I guess cause Metroids could 
because like your suit is kind of based off of Metroids, so there's no ice beam because um, because of um, Metroids were weak to ice, and because of that, um, using ice things wouldn't work. So instead of ice beam, it's ice missiles. So, yeah, stuff like that. You have attributes of the, uh, Metroids. Um, I what else I was gonna say. I was gonna say something. Yeah, I can understand a little bit why I would get stuck here, because I think what I remember correctly was I never got that energy tank as a kid. Like, as a kid, I thought that, oh, I need the bomb or something to actually uh, access that area, because, like, it looked like it was covered with um, all that, uh, with, like, debris and stuff. And the only way to get rid of it was to... Uh, What's it called? Um, was with bomb, which I didn't have. And you still don't have until later on in the game. Uh, let's see what's in here. Is this a map room? No, but it's an item room with a missile that I will gladly take. So I think we have, I think either 30 or 35 missiles, which is. Pretty good for uh, just starting the game uh, last episode. Really? He doesn't have a hitbox there? I literally hit him right on the leg, but I guess he doesn't have a hitbox on the leg or hurt box. Might have a hitbox, but not a hurtbox. Ah, oh, come on. Slid down there. Yeah, I don't know why it's troublesome. It's ladder gameplay, but... I guess they didn't master the ladder gameplay. Because <laughs> they introduced it in this game, I think. Because there wasn't any ladders in... Super Metroid, and there weren't any ladders in uh, Metroid 2 or any of that. Alright. So we need one more air conditioning unit, and we'll be good. Do we have a boss actually? I guess we have a boss and then the air conditioning unit. First we're going to save for the boss, and then after that we're going to fight him. I don't know what boss this is, it might be a mutated cell, but I don't really know. I do think this is the area for a mutated cell. God damn. Okay. Really? Oh, now you do it when I'm not prepared for it. Okay, the red red cells actually give you a lot. Okay, yeah, this is definitely mutated cell. Yeah. I don't know what these things are really called, but I just call them mutated cells. They're just cells that are spiked along with uh, being a little annoying. But there we go. With that, we got the charge beam. Okay. I thought we got a bomb or something, but charge beam's good too. I really don't use charge beam, but. 
I'm guessing we're gonna have to use it now. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. Can't go back. I wanted to go back because I think I might have been something secret there. There's a secret right there. If you see uh, right above the air conditioning unit, you can see a GameCube right there. Pretty cool reference. That I like to point out and see. Alright, there we go. All stablers online. Atmospheric levels equalized, I think it said. I don't know. What I do know is that we're done with all this air conditioning stuff. <laughs> the new the new Metroid game is just gonna be like uh Metroid Samus fixes your air conditioning unit. That'd be funny. Uh, let's see where we're supposed to go. So I think either the blue door is open now, or the blue door is open now. Either way, I think we have to go to the navigation room. So, yeah, once we go to nav, they'll tell us, uh, Adam will tell us where to go. Plus, I need to go to that recharge room. Probably not, but... We did lose a good chunk of health right there. Okay. We'll just blast through all these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. Today's October 1st. Just in time for Metroid Fusion. For the, uh, Halloween season. Atmospheric stabler is online, but many X have already made it to other sectors, it seems, in particular, Sector 2. Okay, looks like we already gotta go to Sector 2. Sam, let's get over there. We need to put an end to this. Okay, start moving. I'll brief you at the Tro Navigation Room. Alright, so we might just do that and then end the episode, so once we get to Sector 2, once we save and um, navigate, I think we'll all be good. I listened to the briefing, my thought turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of nothing, or er, noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. Well, funny enough, the computer's Adam. So, joke's on you. You've already trusted this person. <laughs> Even though I guess it's not a person, it's just Adam's brain, I guess? I don't really know how it is. I think it's just the, br the computer program that's navigating us was either programmed by Adam, or was, um, kind of resembled after Adam. Alright, I have learned the identity of our mysterious saboteur, Samus. It's an X mimicking you. I have named it the SAX. So yeah, that's the thing that we saw when we uh, entered Sector 1. I believe the SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started this disaster. But the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you have full power. You cannot face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold and unexpected side effects of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. 
Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But per safety per protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So first find the security room and unlock level 1 hatches and then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Is your objective clear? Yes. Keep an eye out for SAX. Alright. So I feel like we should end things there. Made some good progress. We beat a boss. We got the charge beam. We stabilized the air in sector one. So I think one thing's there. So thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Metroids. Uh, I was gonna say Samus Returns, but that's not. This isn't Samus Returns. This is Metroid Fusion. So stay tuned for more Metroid Fusion right here on Town Deck. Bye.